This week in green, Congress has just approved $350 million in funds for a wildlife crossing pilot program in Santa Monica, California. The funds will go toward building a green bridge over the 101 freeway, which will be used exclusively for wildlife to cross the highway where it invades the Santa Monica Mountains. While there are currently around 1,000 wildlife crossings in the country, this pilot will hopefully prove that viability of a more ambitious government project that could place several of these crossings over any highway that impedes the natural movement of wild animals. Proponents of the project cite inbreeding and mountain lion populations and overly frequent collisions with deer along highways as a reason to move this project forward. There are many types of crossings, or as Elmer Fudd calls them, choke points, <laughs> where widowed animals can cross. Some are for bridges that match the environment with rocks and trees. Other are tunnels, which are perfect for blasting wastery rabbits. His colleague, Yosemite Sams, agreed, stating, That vermin don't know what hit him! Oh my that's, God. That's, uh, that's my news report for the, <laughs> for, for the crossing. <laughs> I was doing everything I could crossings. to keep my composure while you were reading this, because I was like, this is a professional news desk. And then you go and throw a amazing Elmer Fudd oh, gosh. and a Yosemite Sam at me, and I couldn't, I couldn't hold it. Waskowy Wabbits. Wabbits. I wish I could do better at, uh, at uh, Elmer Fudd, but I'll work on it. Yeah. Yeah. What I love is that <laughs> he phonetically wrote out the Elmer Fudd, and so yes. I'm reading his choice of words, and it was, it was uh, if you're, if you're, chef's kiss, if the kids say. Reading a teleprompter, you'd see that I was. Yeah, I just want to make sure I, pronu I pronounced them properly because I had to get a correct quote. You do. I don't want to, you know, if Elmer Fudd and, and, and Yosemite Sam are high level celebrities, and Absolutely. if they're interested in this and they're talking about it, then we need to get the quotes accurate. Absolutely. They're we big do, fans. We do important news here. We do. We <laughs> do important news. Just imagine how amazing that'll look in a suit when you do an Elmer Fudd story. That is that that is that is so right. Ah, oh, we gotta get into suits in this thing. I know, I know. No, we'll get there. We'll get there. That's but, right. But anyway, this is a cool story. Yeah. This is a great thing to see, and uh, you know, right? Yeah, I, I think it's good. Um, you know, I had a couple couple talking points to, to, to go over it. I, I was thinking, one, you, you see how many people are driving with phones, mm -hmm. and those folks, you know, they're they're already hitting each other. They're already stopping forever at the at the green light when you're yeah. trying to go, and it's and they're not moving or. We're just running through the red light, or everything yeah. else that, that folks are doing now that they have phones. That's also affecting animals. It's yeah. we're hitting more of them. That people are hitting deer and, and, and elk and buck and moose and all sorts of crazy things out there. So it's just not you know it's it's, it's something that that's that's worth looking at. Yeah. Also, we're invading more and more of the natural land. So you know, doing so only kind of makes makes sense, right? Um, we're building into the wildlife area. We should account for what we're doing for that. I think, and, and yeah. try our best to mitigate what we do to screw up their lives. Some of the stuff they were talking about with uh, in, in, in the article uh, with with cougars, uh, or mountain lions, there's like six names, by the way, for a mountain yeah, lion. Yeah, there are so yeah. many species. Yeah, but they, but they, they uh, you know, like they're having, they're having trouble breeding because they, they travel a very long distance. And when you cut across the middle of their territory with a kind of an unpassable freeway, they, they get hit, they die, or they just don't bother going over. And so they're not breeding as readily with other other mountain lions, and it's, and it's causing a serious problem. But even like in Florida, they actually have a lot of them in Florida already because they had issues with, uh, with alligators. Yeah. So they need alligator crossings, so they would put them in tunnels underneath the freeways, and that, that's working really well out there. I, just think, I do think it's a good idea. I think it saves a lot of problems for a lot of people, and it's, you know, it's kind of neat. They, they set them up really beautifully with like stones and rocks and trees, and they just make them look very natural, like the actual habitat that's there. And it's a great idea. I, I, I know that it's, uh, you know, a lot of people get frustrated when the government you know, spends money on things, but I think that sometimes you have to, right? If you're gonna, yeah. build, if you're gonna build highways, you need to account for the area you're invading. Yeah, I think it's great. And I remember seeing something about, you know, some island area that had crabs that migrated across and had to get to the beach and they built this crossing. Mm -hmm. And I remember it is so funny because you think, what a wonderful thing, yet how in the world did humanity take so long to get to this notion right. of like, we built bridges for human beings, but we were like, yeah, the animals, they'll figure it Nothing. out. There's, there's cars traveling at 80 miles per hour. Or they'll side. look both ways. They'll look both ways. Like <laughs> how, how was that not literally part of the initial design build However many years ago, they should have said like, okay, we need a place for people to cross. And also there's a lot of wildlife that needs to get across this. We should probably create a path that's just for them and it's not for people. So. Well, humans need work, Jacob. Humans really we need, need a little to get bit of work. Yeah. I guess if I was to try to defend what it was, when, when at first we were doing this, it was generally, not totally, but it was, it was generally roads just in, in towns and that's cities. And, and it wasn't until we started connecting them uh, and then putting the cities together through through better roads and actually yeah. making highways, um, that that it really became an issue. You know, in the, after World War II, right? For the yeah. the the uh, the, uh, 
during the Great Depression, right, the New Deal, one of the big things of the New Deal was, was a whole set of infrastructure for the country and building these highways all over it, which is, I mean, it's been fantastic for the country. It's made the whole country a lot closer. It's made it a lot easier for us to find each other. But the flip side of that is when you do that, you are absolutely passing through where wildlife live. Yeah. And so, you know, it's good that we're getting to it. Better late than never, that's what they say. Yeah. Good. We'll have more for you soon. <laughs>